What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizolt back again and welcome back to another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius video and everything looks different! I've been messing around with it a little bit, we did some of the events and I just wanted to show you guys some of the cool stuff and maybe if you're not into the game anymore um, and you know, you're not even going to load it up, I just wanted to show you how different it looks. So we're first looking at the home screen, this is a big update and you know honestly it took me a minute to update the amazon app store uh but that was because of my blue stacks and crap but i ended up getting here thank goodness and you're gonna see things look a lot different we can actually just go up to the top left click this we can change our emblem to any of the emblems that we've uh we've gotten and i don't have them all but you can change your emblem i'm gonna keep mine as edward elric for now um you can also click and change your vision card so you can go here and change to any vision card you want to have on display which you could have cool ones or you know whichever ones you've collected like i'd really like to have my kingdom hearts one on there but here's the thing first off as you saw just now you can actually sort by things in your vision cards now so you can filter you can look for demon killer you can look for elemental resistances sorted by hp whatever you need which is going to be fantastic but you can also click on it let's say i want to display this one i can display the mad dash here go back and it's going to switch to the mad dash and then you have the Midgar Expressway music playing, which is absolutely insane. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Let me turn it up a little bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this is the... You can have the music one. So you can go through... I don't know exactly which vision cards have music. Sadly, I don't think the Kingdom Hearts one did. I at least tried to have it loaded up and it didn't. But if you don't even like the music for the vision card, you can click on this. Turns it back to the normal FFBE music, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, looking down here, we have all of our normal menus, but they've been made to be a lot easier to access. We head into Shop. Uh, you can see this has totally changed. So we have fragment shops now, coin exchange shops, so we can head here, uh, look at all the different stuff we can get, like in the guild shop, etc. And then this is where the intrinsic ability guild shop will be for you guys to get the and sadly they didn't do it like I thought they would. They didn't put noppies or nopies, however you pronounce it, intrinsic ability in the shop. It is actually in the other shop, and the thing that worries me is when we go to the other shop, it is a permanent shop. And I think they're going to add other intrinsic abilities here, which means we are going to have to summon for them. I think this is a huge mistake, and hopefully nobody buys this. One, because it's not even that good, honestly. And two, his, uh, or hers, excuse me, her uh, upgrades aren't that great. And two, it's just like really bad business model, so you don't really want us to be supporting that. I mean, I, there's a lot of times where I'm like, you can support whatever you want. Um, this one just, I mean, obviously you can do whatever you want, but that one's not that best. Anyway, we're going over all this stuff in this video anyway, so like I said... The shops are, um, and you can hear the music in the background. Isn't that crazy? You can just change it and it sticks through. Um, all your exchange shops, it will take a minute probably to get used to this because it's a bit different, but you guys will get there as you move through. Going to units, this is where it's going to be big. When you click on units here, it is going to um, give you an option to like fuse all of your pots and your... Um, your pots, your gill snappers, all that stuff, your doors into points, which you're going to click and it's going to take a minute to do, depending on how many you have. It took me like two minutes or something. And then after that, it really changes how you will be upgrading a unit. So for example, if I go to enhance here on Esther, look how different this looks. It's insane. Um, you can see the things that I've mastered. For example, I already have her max level. I already have her LB up. I haven't maxed out her HP. So it tells me the option to use doors and pots here to max them out so i can just click this which i really should have done already boom and it, and it enhances it by 10 10 10 boom goes up it makes it so much easier to know what you've enhanced what you haven't what you've maxed with doors what you haven't and you don't have to go through clicking a bunch of different things and managing an inventory it's all just done for you here which is absolutely insane in my opinion and you can make sure you get this all done go to awakening uh rewards that's going to be you know your um awaken unit which means your fragments your going up in your nv levels your ex levels excuse me over level meaning going to 120 if you want you can obtain the trust mastery or the um stmr here and then go to abilities this is how you enhance their nv abilities now which i think is pretty cool let me kind of try to go to a unit let's go to enhance a unit and let's go to one that i haven't fully enhanced yet so let's go to somebody like uh, a random person I just got. Let's go to this new unit I got. This is my NV summon I got. If we go to awards here, we can actually go to obtain trust master reward. Click that, and it immediately takes us to the trust moogles. So you don't have to keep flying through. I know the trust moogles are at the top, depending on how you did it, but you don't have to fly through and look for this stuff anymore. It's made much easier. Obtain super trust mastery. Boom. Your STMR moogles are there. Awaken unit. You just get to look at the gill, how many transition pearls, and this. And if you don't have enough of these, you can actually convert. There's a convert button here that you can click. Which I think is super cool. I, this is absolutely great. Now, let's talk about um, 
put that back on the normal FB music real quick. That's pretty, pretty in intense behind you there. Let's talk about other things that have changed too. So we have Item World down here and the arena. They're really easy, uh, accessible down here in the bottom. Uh, if we head to the Vortex, the when we win a battle, right, for example, and you guys want to make sure you're doing this every day. When we win a ba battle, for example, it's actually going to change uh, up a little bit as well. So we'll go and we'll do the... Uh, the new, not Go Go Gold Wings, this is the uh, King Mog event. But we're going to head over to Era Assault, which is going to be something you guys want to complete. And this is the EXT. You guys have to get it done for this Master Crown, which, as we saw with intrinsic abilities, is going to be very important. Besides just uh, leveling up your units in uh, other ways, like the, you know, Yuna's abilities when she came out uh, with her ability upgrades. But you need a party of four or less. Uh, this is the party I did it with. I can show you guys the equipment real quick, just in case you needed to see it. Uh, and this may not even be right. This is... <laughs> I just went in here and I made sure for some reason my units already had 100% uh, or 300% excuse me machine killer so fully capped out she didn't even have a vision card on okay <laughs> and I killed it but uh let's let's put a vision card on so again I don't know why this isn't coming through but we got a descending level let's find her vision card real quick I'm, I'm sure there's a way we can make this even easier but I like that this is at the top here but this is going to be the equipment that I have you guys can look in there for machine killers I wonder what I had this built for uh, before today so this is the brave shifted form is the one i'm going to be going with i use yuna's necklace to make sure i get that 50 percent um yeah no vision cards on any of these people strangely enough which is i know is kind of bad but i mean i did it without them so uh should show you that you can definitely get it done too looking for her vision card i think which unsure exactly i must have skipped over it there it is uh and then you know then kaito um sylvie etc they can have whatever you want on them because they, they, they're just there to, bu to buff and then to do their and obviously you can put machine killer on kaito as well but these are the two damage dealers this is a buff this is a break so then we depart and then i'll show you guys the end uh the end menu too which is pretty slick so remember machine killer and we're wanting to do lightning damage lightning damage is where we want to be at so with sylvie we're going to go ahead and do paladin's office get us attacking uh magic buff up on the team we're going to do bolt egg basket give everybody lightning and then we're going to go i got your back for um for Esther here, so she can use her LB, which is going to buff up Ch Chizuru's LB, right? It does an LB filled. It does damage. Kaito's just going to go and do the uh, LB. We're just going to LB with everybody here. Do a little bit of this. Chain him up. Go ahead and play through that. And this should get you the kill. Uh, and now with vision cards, it'll definitely give me the kill on the overkill there. But that's how I ended up getting it done. Not too shabby at all. And these are the units that a lot of people have. These are like the mainstay units right now. I'm sure you can replace Chizuru with any damage dealer. Um... The, the two that you definitely uh, that are definitely really good are Sylvie and then Kaito, obviously, for the breaks and the buffs. But see, look, the end screen difference is a little bit thing. You can repeat quest here. It shows you all this good stuff. It even shows you the name of the friend if you took a friend unit at the bottom, uh, which is pretty slick. So there's Arid Assault there, which ended up getting done. Um, and yeah, so I, I honestly, it's insane how much has changed. And I love how I, I you know there's no unit that I'm going to be going for super hard this week. Uh, to show you guys exactly and, and to really fill the enhancement um, upgrades when you go to unit. But I've already been using it. Uh, for example, I use some of my Envy tickets, you know, where you have to get 10 of them and you get a guaranteed Envy summon. And I got a Yuna and it was just so easy to go to Awakening. And th there she was. I clicked her here and I already had an STMR Moogle for her because I EX2'd one of them and I, you know, I need another copy to get it done. So I went here, went to obtain Super Trust Mastery and boom, I got it done. Like the, the amount of menus that they get rid of with this is is massive now it's good it, it's a little simple like i don't know how to put it like I, it's gonna take a bit to get used to is the best way i can put it um even the menu when you select like i'm going to download you're like yes it's okay to download that even looks a little bit different it looks like the old time uh like final fantasy 7 almost menus uh to me and you guys can let me know what you think about it but yeah see and then you guys can go in here and do your crown upgrades or any kind of upgrades you need to do it just seems very good, and it makes me feel good that this game has come so far. So again, if you haven't played it in a while, if you want to give it another chance, the quality of life updates in this game are absolutely insane, uh, and they seem to keep getting better and better, and I've just been having a really fun time. The one thing I'm looking forward to, guys, is I want a list of all the vision cards that have awesome music and what their awesome music are. So if you guys end up finding that, like somebody makes a cool Reddit post or something like that, please give it to me via like discord or something you I mean you can comment it but it's gonna be I, I might miss it like discord is the way i always see it so that'll be awesome but um hope you guys are having a great day and uh enjoy the new update and learn all about it and see all the cool stuff you can do so if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what your favorite part of the new update is and uh maybe something you don't like so i can see you know you know good and bad subscribe for future content and i'll catch you guys in the next video